particular film opened me up to uh, the the whole thing. And the the one thing, if I have to pick out one thing that got me and got me going, was the fact that the Federal Reserve b Bank is private owned company. That on the lowest levels. I have never gotten past that. If you go, if there's the, the eugenics and the and the and the and the globalization and all of this stuff and and out of all, everything that got me going and and keeps my mind in that direction, is that the the Federal Reserve is a private owned company. I wonder why Fifty Cent linked to the uh, movie. Maybe he's away. This this is Fifty dot com is where I saw the link to the, to the Obama deception and and it uh, you know. It it, it 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 brought me in, in in a direction that it's got KRS One and of course uh, a Professor Griffin. Professor Griffin's in that, and uh, KRS has always been in, into that. But it, the thing is, I noticed something about it. I'm a comedian. When I first got into it, heavy, 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 it, I, it, 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 you, you stop being funny. You you really do. You you just it, nothing's funny. So I had to kind of chill out for a second and figure out how to be funny back to being funny again and then still throwing it out to people because at the level you are you know i listen i i watch the website and, and watch all the films the, at the level you're at it scares the death out of the average person who even might be eugenics is the highest level well, well exactly that's what happens to me i'm working all the time and so i'm usually not freaked out or scared but then when i take off a few days or get away from the radio or don't you know read the news driving into work this morning i was i wouldn't even call it scared just more freaked out realizing this is real i mean i was on the airplane flying back from uh, new orleans yesterday right. from a, uh, doing a, uh, a uh, investigation and shoot with jesse ventura and i was asked by a man on the plane next to me and a woman next to me both separately were uh, listeners and they said is this real for you or is this entertainment and i said well wait a minute everything we talk about is on the record of yep. course this is real of course this is real but getting back to eugenics now, I saw them build up Obama as our savior, right, right. and they were going to try to push their agenda. They took a step with their left foot. Right. Now they're getting ready with the right wing and, and, and Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin to take a step with their right foot. And so now I was called a communist when I didn't like Bush. Now I've been called a right winger because I don't like Obama. And now I'm getting ready to be called a commie again because now I've got to swing my guns over onto Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin. But I don't think, I think the plan was not, I think Obama was supposed to be in office for eight years. I, I think um, the, the, the thing that destroyed the, the Obama plan, I think, is, is racism. I think white people's, the, the average white person who's not into the new world, or they're into po just regular politics. I think they just couldn't, they can't take having a black boss for eight years. And I think that that ruined the the the, the higher ups plan to have him kind of have this 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 feel of warm. We're all together. Yeah, this feel good. And, and then I, I don't think I think the average like I don't even know who to say the average white person. But, you know, people are starting tea parties and and, and starting these these things that's from 1712. I think <laughs> I, I mean, look, I'm not stupid. You know what I mean? It's like d don't lie to me about it not being racial when you start a tea party and you out of nowhere out of, it's a two year movement out of nowhere when the president's black if, if if we're into like if you're in the new world order this is not, it don't matter black white that that's why it's like if you're into that you just go yo i don't care what color the president is because it's it's all foul but the average person who's just in the republican and democratics they, i think uh there's a there's a racial element to this country that couldn't can't take another four years of 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 obama it's just not going to happen well i think what added to that too though is the government run health care and, and all these other big moves but i do think that is an element the to average it this person knows alex that's what i'm saying i'm i'm out here and 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 i believe in the bilderbergs i believe in uh the bohemian grove i be, i believe it all but the problem is, I, I look at, and don't take this wrong, many you know, listeners. I look at Hitler, okay, and and I go, why do? If I'm a crazy guy and I go, I hate Jews, I want them all dead. Do you blame me as much as you blame the fifty thousand people that I convince to shoot Jews in the head in the middle of the street? I I don't like the people that go, okay, I'll I'll just shoot people in the head. I've run into so many people 
who are willing to kill other people or kill themselves really they don't even know they're killing themselves on behalf of these these the the, the illuminati the cfr the, these these people who we look at it like they're evil yeah we get they're evil but you can't don't help them don't help cut my head off and cut your head off oh that's a good point you know the ninth circuit court of appeals has now ruled citizens can be secretly arrested people can be tortured they don't need warrants and this is all for the American people, regardless of what color you are. Right. But just like with Hitler, he sold it with an unpopular minority first, but really it was for everybody. So these idiots that go along with this, they need to know that they're in the crosshairs as well. They just go along. I, did, I, I pay my electric bill every three, four months. I, I pay it when I get a threatening letter. I just forget. Uh, this time around, somebody came to my house to cut it off, and he goes, look, you're going to give me a... Give me a check or I'm going to cut your electricity off. I go, look, man, I'm going to pay it online or whatever. He's like, look, this is my job. I'm going to cut it off. I go, what if I had somebody in here who could die without the electricity? You know what I mean? And he just did this. He just went, uh, uh, that's my job. I go, your job is to, you think that you love your family by killing my family. Like, meaning, I could, something could be happening. Nothing is, but I'm just on a, on a dramatic level because then I got on the phone and the woman said, well, if your kid was on a respirator, we would tell you you should have thought of that before you didn't pay your bill. And I go, are you serious? My bill was $800. You think people got $800 just to pay? You think everybody's trying to scam you? Your job is to hear me beg for my life and you go, sorry, sir. So do you think that you could go home and love your family? The way you think you love them, if you can kill my family? Patrice, that's a key point you made. You're talking about the Nuremberg defense, where these tens of thousands of Nazis said, hey, I was just following orders, and the court ruled, no, if you're doing something immoral or murderous or illegal, it doesn't matter if a tyrant's telling you it's okay. You just can't uh, abdicate all of your responsibility over to, I'm just doing my job. It just, it just, it, do it doesn't sit right to me. So... So as I've gotten into more and more, uh, you know, enlightenment about a lot of these things that these these people at top up top are doing, and I believe they're doing, the problem is, how do you communicate that? What what is? It's shocking to me if you say it to an average person that doesn't know how much they don't want to hear it. Okay, so we're gonna play the second part here, but I have to. Well, we'll just go ahead and. Here it comes. How much they don't care. How much even the look. I go, look, go to the supermarket, right? It, there's 10 aisles, but there's only one person working, and the rest is you're checking out yourself. Like, there's no more people doing jobs that you go, wait a minute. There, there's no more tellers. There's just one person taking but, and, 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 this, and down the road, what are the jobs going to be to be able to have money to even buy the food? That, it's, it's, that's what's killing me. It's like, it's like, wait a minute. If you're treating me like, like a robot, what they're doing is they're setting you up to get me used to dealing with robots. Because you're, you're not being a person right now. You're, be, you're being a, they're, they're, they're tricking me. It's not tricking, because what they're doing is getting rid of your job, because you cost them money. So a big business, why would I pay you? If you're going to get my $800, why do I want to pay out the 800 that I'm giving you to a person that's working? They're trying to figure out how to get rid of you, and you're just helping. Well, it's just my job. It's not going to be a... No, absolutely. You're hitting on the key here. We're being deindustrialized. We're being turned into biological androids. And we had better have an awakening to even salvage some of our humanity. And to do that, we've got to all come together against the eugenics. We'll be right back with Patrice O'Neill. Stay with us. Patrice O'Neill is our guest. We do have Richard Gage with huge bombshell breaking information. They had a press conference at the National Press Club with former Senator uh, Gravel. Uh, key information uh, coming up in the first 30 minutes of the third hour with Richard Gage, the head of architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, less than 24 hours uh, from the ninth year anniversary of the tragic attacks that have been used to butcher our liberties and freedoms and launch all these illegal wars. That is coming up. Now, Patrice, you were trying to get into eugenics before the break cut you off. You were saying that that's the ultimate level, and I agree with you, and they play us off against each other. They're dehumanizing us, uh, they're deindustrializing us to make us dependent on the system. But the end game is forced population uh, reduction. It's, it's, it's the high, I'm laughing, right? Because 
as a as a as a as a newbie to it, I mean, I would say the last two or three years, it, it it's it's shocking, man. That I think that's the that's eugenics is the is the most difficult to digest out of out of any of it. I think I think the fact that there might be some people that need that are trying to kill human beings, I think is the is the hardest thing for people to to believe. But as you open it, and what I like about your films is this. You don't just, it's easy to go, ah, tell, ah, this guy's crazy. But you give, you give things in your, in your movies that say, okay, go to HR this and go to executive order that. And you, and it's difficult to deal with HR 1000, so, cause it's, it's crazy. So a lot of times I gotta take your word for it <laughs> with that HR or the executive order stuff, cause it's so, it's, 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 it's a Bible's worth of, of, of stuff you gotta read through. But that's the thing I like about watching your films is that you it, it's brought me here. It it all does come together. Well well when we show a bill when we show a bill or executive order though, we zoom in on the subsection. Mm -hmm. I mean here's an example. The last three weeks we have we have written article after article with direct links to the Rockefeller Foundation. And they're just like 20-page documents. You can read them where they say we're going to develop vaccines that reduce fertility. And they even talk about so, so we don't sterilize everybody because then people would notice that. Right. We, just, we just hurt a certain amount of people. That no one cares about. Let's start, start with Africa. Easy to do. A lot of poor people, nobody cares. Well, see, you bring up race. And, and I will say most libertarians, most patriots that I know, the media would call right wing, mm -hmm. are not racist. But they, but they do understand that there are elements and, and that the Republicans have taken over the Tea Party and are basically putting out code words, but at the same time denying it. But, but here's another issue. The ultimate racist are the so-called liberals on the top, because when you actually read their writings 80 years ago, they said, we've got to pose as liberals so the blacks trust us. And then you see the result. Let me, 51, well, let me ask you this. 51% of black people, since Roe v. Wade, have been killed before they're born and then you go talk to the average black folks they'll defend abortion like it's some liberal right and i go really liberal right to kill 51 percent of the black people this is the alex this is the game that they this is the problem okay i'm just now looking at the constitution i, I, I tell you who got me looking at the constitution was aaron russo when he's like democracy is is that thing where he says two two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner it changed my life. That, that I think that's the most amazing quote I've ever heard that puts democracy in. in it's Thomas Jefferson originally. Well, that, he, yeah. that I heard from him. Yeah. Know, I give him it, even, but I'm looking at the Constitution, and for some reason, grown you know, grown up black with just being black, the Constitution is 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 poison words for black people because we feel we're not involved in it anyway. But the idea of what freedom of of the press and then freedom to carry arms it why it's important and this is is easy is because the, it's to protect us from a dictator it's to it's separation of state when bush took over the the separation of uh, of of uh of not separation of state but separation of church power. and state the, no the powers of of uh, uh, the uh, separation of powers yes the you court, got it the, the house of representatives and and the president yeah. to protect us from a dictator and all these things are trying to be destroyed so that a, a dictator can come right in and take over but black people somehow in the system of of just regular government we feel ostracized from these words we all like even the crazy what, what, what black people call the crazy crackers in the hills that say we just look we we don't we want we we gonna kill you if you come on our property we black people automatically think those people are crazy but those people are the revolutionaries of our time. Those are they live how the people who freed the country from England live. They think like that. But to a black person, whatever the, the, the news thing does, it makes us think that those people are insane and out to get me. That's the that's the game they play so that black people don't get deep into the new world order because it's another divide and conquer. It's a divide and conquer thing. It's well, stay there. Uh, we're going to break long segment. Uh, let's pick up where you, uh, you left it. Patrice O'Neill is our guest. PatriceO'Neill.com. He's going to be at the Cap City Comedy Club tonight and tomorrow. Hurry and get tickets because it's probably going to sell out uh, here in Austin, Texas. You can find out where else he's going to be appearing around the country. Also at PatriceO'Neill.com. Okay, now uh, I'm going to edit out three minutes of commercial um, because we're not.